hi guys. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a uh, weekly thing where I make videos, like tutorials, on Sony Vegas. Um, I'm going to try and do it once every week, a different tutorial for Sony Vegas users. Um, most of them are going to be harder tutorials, not beginners. So if you want to check out beginner tutorials, you could uh, check a. You can just look it up on YouTube. Alright, let's get this started. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you uh, how to make bars pop up on your screen. It's a pretty sweet effect. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into it, but it's like, it's kind of hard, but it's not really. Alright. The first thing you want to do is copy this, make another video track. And then paste it above it. So then you have the same clip right there. Let me change the settings on this real quick so you can see a little better. Alright, there you go. Okay, so now what you want to do is go to your top one video event effects. And you want to go to your cookie cutter. So when you cookie cutter, you want to use this one right here. Double click that. Okay. Now, there's a lot of different shapes you can use. Um, one I like to use is the rectangle or the square. The rectangle one is probably my favorite, which I would suggest. Alright, so... Now you want to find the point that you want the box to show up. And right here, look at that fucking KO. Fucking 76, baby. So I'll put that right before I get it. Probably like right there. Make it a little smaller. You don't want a big border, it'll make it look really bad. You only want like a. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You can change the color of the border too, to whatever you like over here. I like to use black or white. Most of the time, black. Then you just move this wherever you want it to be. Increase the size of it. There you go. And you want to delete this first keyframe. You don't even need that. And that way, actually, okay. And then right before this, you want to move the border all the way down, like just before it. So then, if you watch, it appears, it just reappears. Then, like on the first keyframe, you might want to make it smooth so that way it flows in a little smoother. And then you'll see that. And then you'll see the KO, that fucking 76 is beastly. And then right at the end, as soon as he drops down. Right there is the point that you probably want to make another keyframe, and then a little few seconds after, remove the border. Now, there's a lot of different effects you can add to this, like. Uh Okay, there we go. Now I went to delete this first keyframe. Oh wait, you can't. Shit. So I'll just move it down here to where the border starts. And right where it starts, I'll move the amount down. And then, actually I'll keep it up. And then I'll make a new keyframe. I'll make the amount with nothing there. So then it'll appear blurry. And then it'll go back down. And you see the 76. So that'll be pretty sweet to see. That'll be a pretty cool effect. Boom. 76. Now you may see that it's a little blurry in the middle. 
So, right after you do... Oh, shit. It's a little blurry, but that's alright. This is just an example. And on the bottom one, to make it look even better, more realistic, cooler, video event FX, you can add uh, black and white. This is a cool effect, because then, this is what I did on mine. You can make it turn black and white, and then it will be color in the middle. You gotta find the point at which the the blur pops up, like the box, and it goes blurry. And then that's when you make it turn black. You gotta add a keyframe right in front of your, when, just when you're about to turn black and white. And then you'll pull it all the way up, so it'll look really cool. And then when you see the 76, kill him. He's down, and then at the point that it starts going down, you want to make it go back to normal. So right there, it'll go back to normal. You know, it'll still be a little blurry, but this is just an example. So then you could watch it right here, see what it looks like. Bam. Makes it a little bigger so you can see it again. Oh shit. There we go. Might be a little laggy. There it is, the blur, and then the kill. Yeah, this is a quick tutorial, kinda quick, a little short, but it's very it's a really cool effect. Uh if you want to see some really good use of this effect. You can check out Boomer Twins. The link's in the description to his channel. And I'll give you a link to one of his vids that he uses this a lot. And he's a really good editor. Um, I suggest you really watch this. It's really fucking cool. Um, I figured this out by myself. It, it was pretty easy to figure out. Uh, you can be very creative with this cookie cutter tool. It's very cool. You can put a lot of different effects on the box or whatever. Um, and uh, I'll be making COD 5 montages. Just wait. Just gotta get to level 65 and I'll start making some montages. So don't go all fucking ape shit. I'll start making some. This is just a quick tutorial. And until next week, I'll see ya.